Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so I, I hate to start off a clip on a little bit of a negative sort of uh, first step footing type of uh, motive, but unfortunately um, I came across something today which has stemmed me wanting to do this clip. I have decided not to say something on my channel for because of... <sighs> It's been a long history of having problems, so unfortunately, um, again, I've done some some issues, kind of health issues, um, have kind of come up to the surface again lately. Um, so a lot of you would have known on my channel, and amazingly, and thank you from the bottom of my heart of all your support um, and your kind words of getting me through that. Um, a year ago, I had some groin reconstruction surgery. I've had lots of problems with hernias, lots of problems with pain and, and nerve issues and all sorts of things, um, bladder related issues. And it's been horrific. It's been really, really difficult. Um, I have up until very recently done incredibly well and got through all of that. Um, and then what I've done recently is unfortunately I've done some damage and I have ruptured one of the muscles interlinked with my, uh, with my groin reconstruction. So I am walking differently. I am walking with quite a, they, I think the medical term is quite a severe gait, um, but I'm walking with quite a severe limb. Um, but of course I am, I'm very proactive. I push forward in everything in my life. I am determined not to let these things beat me and I keep pushing forward. Um, and I've not been very well with it, generally very well with it. It's been a lot of pain. I'm taking quite a lot of um, all sorts of tablets just to help me manage that. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, it's been really, really difficult, really difficult. So for the first time for a very long time, I went out with my oldest brother today and my mum uh, grocery shopping. And um, and I thought just to get me out, just to, just to sort of, and of course, getting out from the normal environment, your home does the power of good. And you know what? I was on an aisle where Straight away, when I walked down this particular aisle um, alongside my mum and my brother was a little bit ahead of us, um, the first, I got a glance at these two people. Okay, I'm not going to go into any personal details, so I don't think that's relevant. But I got a glance at these two people and um, straight away I could see that they were taking notice, as to speak, of how I was moving, how I was walking. And uh, straight away it made me feel really quite conscious. It made me feel really quite... Someone's making a conscious effort to actually pay attention to how I'm moving. Um, and I have a true, I have a very strong sort of ethos on life that we should never presume, we should never judge, we should never, ever, ever say something upon somebody else unless you've been in their shoes, unless you can comment. And even then, most of the time, it's not relevant and it's not appropriate for you to comment. But these two, two particular people will make me feel very uncomfortable. And... They were of a younger generation, keeping it polite, of course, here, and um, they started, uh, hmm, they, yeah, it it was making me feel really quite um, uncomfortable, really quite horrible, and it wasn't for very long, it was a couple of minutes, and you know what, how I was walking, I, I was paying attention, kind of just discreetly looking behind me, and they started laughing um, because of how I was walking, and um, there wasn't many people around, and I just thought to myself, wow, you're actually kind of mocking me. I'm, I'm, I don't know what to say, because you're kind of mocking me for me trying to, to deal with a problem which I've got, being determined and trying to push forward. But yet yeah, you're mocking me. And the laughing kind of went on for a little while, and... Um, and, and you know what, even now, it, it didn't necessarily affect me. I'm doing that because I'm just noticing my hair is like kind of puffy and not really how I would do my clips normally. So forgive the kind of the style edge, the style edge, <laughs> edgy kind of long shouldery length hair now. Um, but anyway, yeah, and, and how it made me feel, I thought was just wow. And do you know what, sadly in this world, I think now, and a lot of people will agree with me, that nothing in this world surprises me of people, sadly. Rather than help someone, I think somebody would rather take or push somebody else for their own ends. And I think that's really, really sad. And do you know what, these two people laugh at me. I thought, do you know what, if you only knew what I've been through in the last couple of years since 2017 with my groin problems, my walking problems, my leg, the pain, the hernias, bladder issues, all through mesh, then you probably wouldn't laugh. You'd probably be shocked. You'd probably be surprised. I can even still smile. 
to be quite honest with you. Um, but I thought, <laughs> I just thought, you know what, I felt in a way, and this is what hurts me the most, I felt embarrassed, I felt ashamed, and I felt belittled, but through no fault of my own. Strange, isn't it? And, I, and all of this went through my head, and I thought to myself, wow. My mum, of course, knew something was wrong with me straight away, and so did my oldest brother, and um, and they knew straight away, and they kind of got me back feeling brilliant straight away, and I could see my brother was really reared up about it, because he picked up on it shortly after. Um, and my mum had, um, had just amazing words after to bring me back to me, but I just thought to myself, wow, <laughs> With all the things going on in this world, especially right now, and all the things what we know happen in this world, but yet two individuals in this world took it upon themselves to make me feel like that. And it wasn't almost as though that they were looking at me just for looking at me. You know when you just know and somebody was mocking something about you and through my walking, because I walk with quite a severe limp at the moment because I've ruptured something all to do with the interlinking part of my uh, groin reconstruction. Some damage I've done for the last couple of weeks now, but I think I'm doing really well getting through it. Um, and I will get through it, and it will not beat me, it will not determine what I want to, to do going on into the future, but I'm always going to have problems here, because um, the amount of surgery I've had. I just thought, how dare you? Absolutely, how dare you? And in the end, I sit here now, and I actually... Do you know what, first of all, I want to say that if I could say right now what I would say to those two individuals is, do you know what, I forgive you. I absolutely forgive you because there are so many things in this life I cannot and will not walk around with that grudge because I want to go on and do something with my life and I want to be free and I want to go on and do all these wonderful things. If I held a grudge, I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to go on. I wouldn't be able to enjoy tomorrow and the next day and the next day after because I'd be dwelling on what happened today. So number one, I want to say I forgive you. Number two, I want to say actually I feel sorry for you that actually that you feel that it's okay to laugh, mock somebody when they're down. And third, I actually question what type of human being you are, because if you do that to somebody else, how would you feel if that happened to your mum, your dad, your nan, your grandfather, uncle, aunt, brother, sister, niece, nephew, whatever? Yeah. Okay, so on that note, that wonderful cheery note, do you know what, let's put that behind us, that was today, let's move forward. We wouldn't act like that. Thank you for watching my clip, thank you for being here. Thank you for listening, thank you for relating, and thank you for your kind words, your inspiring words, and your words of pushing forward. This world is difficult, this world is not easy, why on earth would it be? I always try and tell myself that. But when you come up against things like that, I think unity, people around you help, and they really, really do, because I felt isolated, I felt belittled, and I felt horrible in that moment. I wouldn't wish that on absolutely anybody. I do not hate anybody, I do not dislike anybody in this world. Tolerate people, yes. That's the key. But hate people? No. Never. Why would you? Life's too short for that. Life's too difficult for that. No. Can't be carrying those feelings around. So yeah, I forgive those people and I will quickly want to forget those people. So what I say to you is just be careful with your assumptions, be careful with your reactions, and just be careful in general and take great care, please. Thanks very much for sharing that with me, and until next time, I'll be bringing you something hopefully positive. So enjoy the rest of the week, uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend, enjoy your days ahead, and let's have a great week ahead, and um, let's have positive, happy thoughts. And you know, if you can help somebody in this world, please do so. From my heart to yours, thank you very much, and until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye now.